Hey guys, Minzu Bell here. We're back in The Wolf Among Us. And as you see, episode 3 is out. And I know it's been out for a while. I've just been really busy trying. I'm gonna go over. There you go. I've just been really busy trying to do a lot of other stuff, so I hadn't had a chance to do this. But we're going to jump in. And yeah, so I apologize for this coming out a lot later than the thing came Our out. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Ooh, I still don't think he actually did it. I think his only thing is he's a pervert. That's all I think. I don't think he really did the killing. <laughs> all right. Place is still a wreck. <laughs> He's a fucking creep. Fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other I need than to find the... snow. I just need to find snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been. Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane could be following her. Please explain this to me. Crane might be following snow. If I can find her, I can. God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did remember. she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. The trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? What do you need to tell me? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should I know. tell her. But... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I'm not gonna go all crazy. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to the Buckingham Bridge. And I'm not sure if it's going to show in the video, but right in the beginning it glitched. That's a wonderful freaking sign. Ugh. It like did a sound glitch and a. So it did the audio glitch in the um. What am I call it? What am I trying to say? In a visual glitch, I guess. I don't know. Go to the porta potty. No, porta toilet. Excuse me, I said it wrong. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you. By claiming one day that nope, let her do it. The pain of losing Lily will ever subside. Nope. 
I know not getting well middle of that shit. It will never subside. But I also I know. know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. This is her stuff. And it will, or in time, equal in strength to our her. mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit I'll that I'd like to talk about you. what you've all been fights. so grateful to share with me. I'll miss you. Your memories. Holy. How she could be stubborn and patient. Rash. I gotta go look at the new the How she carried book a torch stuff. for the old Now you will never die from indifference form, or lead a tedious pageant. life. Goodbye, and most of sweetheart. All, it seems Thanks for so everything. Lily loved, Vivian. Dearly loved. Oh, her okay, never mind. I remember who Vivian is now. She loved being around them. In good There's times Marissa. and bad. You were a big, bright, shining Lily star from in this shithole of a town. I know I in miss you already. That she would have liked no. to be here tonight. And now we'll look at have this. Our, um, moment of nope. silence. I can Thank look you. at the looker. For whatever freaking reason. <laughs> Anything else? Bigby, is everything okay? Yes. No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? I wanted to give you her the Holly, body. Holly, wait, that was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I I'm give telling you the, body. you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives Crane's a, a shit prick about anyways. This. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Hi. Holly, Big B's trying in, in his own way, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. I do. But this one isn't on him. I need to talk to you. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Okay. Uh, Everything okay? I need to talk to Snow. I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay. Okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's discontinue, okay? I'm trying to be nice. This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. That Vivian. I remember now. In the purple dress. That's Vivian. Took me a second to remember. Hi, Grin. Bye, Grin. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Lily was you Crane's pull this prostitute. Kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is. Oh my I don't god, even know I'm sorry. Right I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now I'm sorry. to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't <gasps> confuse things. Oh god. Closing Crane would be the next step. Oh and fucking if we god. Get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Eh. We'd get kicked eh. out of Fable Town. Oh my god, here, I have proof. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to show you proof. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'll drive. No? I feel horrible. Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. 
Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. Go ahead. I don't mean to be... Um, no, take your time. I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Oh, I feel so bad for having to show her photo, but How'd it's it evident, so she believed me. Did you find anything? Um... Lily no. was killed there. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! I'm not gonna tell him anything Gosh, Crane has to- what the fuck? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. Oh my god. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation, is all. Don't do this Don't here. Don't have yeah. to go anywhere. Don't do it You're here. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. I don't want this right to happen now. at Lily's funeral. I feel horrible. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Don't hurt Brother, anyone. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun. I don't want you to hurt nobody. Ladies, Please, no. God damn it. Invertebrates. Please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going don't on? Don't piss them off. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Shit. Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Do you stop this? Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. Uh-oh, poly changing? The grin change? What should I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. I don't want anyone to get hurt. It's just <gasps> a dead hole. Kill him! I'm gonna kill you! Do it! Just kill him! Holy fucking shit! I got it done. No, no, no! You don't get the no. It's bad enough you came to the funeral like this. No. Oh shit! God damn it! Motherfucker! Everyone's getting shot. This is not what I want to have happen. I don't think they're dead. Because they're fables? And I mean, the freaking woodsman took an axe to the head. I don't think they're dead, but oh my fucking god, are you freaking kidding me? What? I mean, I mean, the starts are always amazing, but still, oh my fucking god, I didn't want you to get hurt. Good lord. Ugh. Oh well. So, we'll watch. I wonder, has the intro ever changed or is it always like the same? I think it's always the same. Yeah, it's always the same. Huh. Oh well. Now what's gonna happen? Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. I heard someone talk about like the crooked man and that's why it's called the crooked mile or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. He smashed the um 
the mirror. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. Okay. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Okay. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep How's everyone else, heart. please? How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. That's all I want to know. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Eh, fuck. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's eh, through the I'll proverbial try. roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Oh, I wonder if I can go check out the book now, because this isn't here. <laughs> She's like, go put a shirt on. So, to recap. Go put your shirt on. watched me through the magic mirror, uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I. I Any other leads? There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's No, just... I don't... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think he killed the women. He's just a creep. Doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A... A coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. I'm so sorry, Snow. But murdering prostitutes? I don't think he did that. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Can you band-aid? Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, I even feel worse bad than for Holly. Did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you. What's on your mind? But after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just... You oh know, my god, he's yelling. Stop pretending. No, I don't. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? No, it's okay. horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I don't care. She remembers I that. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Whatever. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. No, fucking god. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's... Crane uh, must have taken Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. Um, that's the hard what exactly way. is the hard way? 
We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. Okay. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Shut up, Buffkin. We can still solve this ourselves. I know that. Never it mind that. Come help me look. Okay. Are we just searching here? Can we search his house or apartment or whatever it is that he lives in? Can you use the lamp? Still can't use the lamp. From here, it looks like it's like. Hold on. I'm sorry. I have the hiccups right now. <laughs> From here, it looks like it's like completely mending itself, except for when you start to walk and then you see the little glitching cracks and stuff. Okay, hold on. Hold on, where's the book? I wanna go look at the fucking book. Go this way. Go this way. Is it the book right here? Can I look at it? Fuck. Thought I could look at the book. Oh well. I, um... God damn it. There we go. Look at this desk. What the fuck? <laughs> there we go. Oh! That's the key! What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to okay. know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Again, I still don't believe he murdered anybody. He's just a creep. Like a bad crane. Are you there? Any... Oh, fuck me. I've already ruined this thing. <laughs> Are there any updates on extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I see. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a prior priority. Best Wayland Smith. So no one's getting, so the farm's not getting any funds. Dear Ichabob Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. So, who is it? Boy Blue and Pinocchio live together. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something, something gross and I really like to fix it. Like... Like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago at the very least provide us a fan in the meantime. So the farm's not getting funds. He's not helping people out. Not sending one to fix it. Oh guys from Toad. Mr. Crane, you said you pay to have the plaster redone in my building after our last It's a end to a floor is falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's fucking worse now. Well, it's worse now. God, I just... I'm all over the fucking place. Get your shit together. <laughs> Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. <sighs> oh, God. Just... Forgive me, I can't fucking speak today. I shouldn't be recording properly. <sighs> I probably should be recording, really. <laughs> I can't speak. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. 
It must be this witch he is going to see. What? Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? No. Oh, is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me. I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my Shut business. Up, no. Crane's the murderer. He escaped. I never said he was a murderer. Since he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. He's not. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Buffkin, shut the fuck up. A.M. or P.M.? Say P.M. A.M. Fuck you. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn What do you know about Crane? What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but Who that elected doesn't... her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Snow can handle it. It's not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Fuck you, Bluebeard. I know what you did. I looked you up. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Fuck you, Buffkin. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. No problem. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Don't look at me like Since that. If Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Both. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, so... No, chances are you won't have time. I always have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? what? No, you I said I wanted to go there go earlier. There. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Stay out Before of it. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Stay out of it, Bluebeard. Bluebeard. Just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. Yeah, they probably can. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. That's always fun. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. He can hear you. He can Where are you gonna go, fucking baby? hear you. I wanted to go to his apartment in the first place because I said, because I wasn't sure if we were going to 
just check his desk or go up to his apartment or how- What the fu- Fuck my life. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Nah. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oh my fucking god. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh. Fuck my life. Okay, well... I... S I said I wanted to go to his apartment in the first place, like, long before I even knew we were going to be choosing where to go. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna- I'm- I'm- I'm gonna stick to what I said before. I wanted to go to his apartment. So I'm gonna go to his apartment. Um... If I can go somewhere else... I might go to Holly's bar just so I can go shift through Lily's things then. So I'm gonna go to the apartment first. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. You wanted me to go there! You wanted me- You wanted me to go there in Holly's bar. I'm going to Holly's bar after this. And then I guess I can go to the Tweedles place if it gets me a choice. Which I doubt it will, but because he's there. Or I guess I could try to go 1903. Oh, it's still Okay. Let's look. Examine because the door is open. Why is the door open? Well, he probably left the door open trying to get out quickly. Nope. I don't want to call out because if he is in there, he'll hide. So let's just go in. I doubt he's in there, though. Crane? He, like, glitched back. What the hell? He, like, jerked. Oh wow, an hour and 55 minutes. That's creepy. That's really creepy. <laughs> Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Um Guys, it's been almost 30 minutes. I think it's just enough time, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end this here. So, I will be back, and I'll pick it up back there. So, bye guys!